Hey everyone, welcome to the optional practice video for the NumPy math lesson. In this one, we'll look at some more methods that we can use on our NumPy arrays. Let's get started. Here in our text editor, I'll import NumPy as MP, and then let's create a few arrays. We'll say array A, we'll have a NumPy array, and it will be the shape three by three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven through nine. Then array B will be a NumPy array of the shape three by three. And we'll say this one is two, 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 three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight. And then we need surrounding square brackets on that one. Now let's view these two arrays. So we'll say print array A, and then print array B. We'll open up a command prompt or a terminal. And we'll type in Python three array math project.py. So here's the two arrays that we have. We have two arrays, both of the shape three by three. Let's get a little more practice on how we can use methods along one axis. We'll say print, we'll specify the array that we want. So array A, let's use the sum method, and then we'll specify an axis. Remember that the one axis is for the row and the zero axis is for the column. So if we say one here and save and print this, we're summing along each of the rows. So six, is summing along here, we get 15 from the sum of these numbers, and then we get 24 for the sum of these numbers. If we change this to zero, now we're saying sum every value along the column, so we're adding one to four, which makes five, plus seven is 12, and that's how we get this number here. So now we should know how to use the axis keyword in our method arguments. Now we'll look at a few more methods that we can apply to a single array. We'll say print, and then we'll specify the array, so let's work with array A for this one. And the method that we can use is called peak to peak. They denote this P T P. We'll pass this in with an axis of one. So we're doing a peak to peak along each row. The peak to peak method takes the maximum value and subtracts the minimum value from what you specify. So since we're saying axis one, we're doing this along each row. We'll print this and we get two, two, and two. So the range on each of these rows is only two. So we take three and minus one and get two, the same for six and four and the same for nine and seven. If we were to not set an axis here and just use the method on the entire array, we get back the value of eight, which is just the highest number minus the lowest number. Let's look at a few more methods. We have access to saying array and then we can use a minimum. We could do array A and do a maximum. And then we also can do array a and do a mean. We could put an axis for each of these if we wanted to, but we don't have to. We'll save and print these. And now the minimum of our entire array is one, the max is nine, and the mean is five. Now let's talk a little bit more about multi-array operations. We didn't look at the power function last time, so let's look at that one now. We'll say print numpy.power. The first one will be the base, and the second one will be the power that you want to raise that base to. So we'll say array A and then array B. This is stepping through element wise and taking the base from here and the exponent from here. We'll print this to our terminal and we get back an array of the same size. We see that this took one and raised it to two. It took two and raised it to the second power and returned four. And that's how all of these are done element wise. I also want to note that we can do operations on more than just two arrays. Let's create an array C as a NumPy array, and this will be of the same shape as the other two. So let's say one, 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 two, 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 and then three, three, three. We'll put outside brackets. So now we have a third array. If we wanted to, we could add all of these arrays together the same way that we did before. So we could just put plus signs for each one and add them all together. We'll get the result of this, which is this matrix here. We could do the same thing for division. So let's just take this one here We'll copy it and paste it here and change all these signs to division. And when we do this, remember that the operations are done element by element. So the order of operations here are important. So we'll take the element in the zero, zero position of array A divided by the element in the zero, zero position of array B and then do the same thing for array C. Not too much to talk about for this video, but hopefully I showed you a few more methods that you can use in your NumPy functions. For your challenge, try to get the product of these three arrays and then use the point to point method on that new array. Let me know what the result is. I'll see you in the next lecture.